too many people die when somebody doesn't speak up. And uh, hopefully we prevented that today. Well, a teenager at East Aurora High School is being held after allegedly making threats to harm his classmates. News 4's Dave Graber has been looking into what this teen is accused of doing and the action the district attorney's office is taking. A 16-year-old student here at East Aurora High School will remain in custody at least for the short term after police say he made threats to his classmates here at the high school. And in those threats, he made references to the mass killings in Las Vegas. It was a pretty uh, terrifying statement made. East Aurora Police Chief Shane Krieger says the local teen threatened classmates directly and repeated his intentions on social media, making reference to the country's most violent modern shooting, the victims of which still remain at the scene. Taking no chances, concerned parents, the school district, and police acted quickly. There is a reason why decades ago they came up with the charge that made it illegal to yell fire in a movie theater because people end up getting hurt. Police don't believe the teen had access to any weapons, but in the wake of the Sin City killings, which claimed 59 lives and injured more than 500 more, this was far from an overreaction. You can't make comments like that this day and age. Too many people die when somebody doesn't speak up. And uh, hopefully we prevented that today. The teen, who's not being named or shown because of his age, was arrested late Monday at his home. He was arraigned in town court Tuesday morning. He's being held in juvenile detention pending his next court date, as well as psychological evaluations. This individual deserves to be uh, in jail uh, until he can get a psychiatric evaluation done to find out what's going on here. Erie County DA John Flynn is an East Aurora alumni. This young man was making statements uh, the, the day after uh, this tragedy occurred. And he was making uh, specific statements referencing what happened in Las Vegas and alluding to the fact that this potentially could happen in East Aurora, New York. And when you make that link, you obviously have to take it very seriously. Reporting in East Aurora, Dave Graber, News 4.